Welcome to the Toddy Corva Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Sam Murray, joined now with Stevenson Women's Soccer head coach Toddy Corva. And coach, maybe not the start of the season that you had hoped for, sitting at 1-5-2 and two currently, but the rack record may not match the play. So just talk about your team's performance through the first half of the season. Yeah, so I, you know, we knew heading into the season, starting out um, at the Invitational at William Smith with Rochester and William Smith, that it was going to be uh, certainly a competitive start to the season. I thought a good test, and um, it was it was a great experience, really being there and um, you know, kind of getting away together and, and heading up to New York and um, played very very well against two very strong teams, and and I think to start the season that way really kind of showed that we are capable of of playing with um, one of the best teams in the country in, in William Smith and the um, the score you know three nothing um, and we you know we created some chances and it, and it really wasn't um, it, it really wasn't that we were being dominated so um, I think that um, was great for for really a young team that we have for them to see that we are capable of of a lot of good stuff this season. So, you know, rolling then into into Gettysburg and um, St. Mary's and Catholic, and really we have no breaks in our schedule. So, um, playing some of the best teams certainly in the region and and you know even in the country, and um, have been really pleased with how we've been playing uh, for the most part. And I think that. Um, we've been learning from every single game and, um, you know, a bunch of one goal losses against some very, very good teams or some overtime losses or some ties. And, um, you know, sometimes in soccer, honestly, all you can ask for is the performance and sometimes the results, you can dominate a team and, and lose or be dominated and win, um, which honestly is kind of what our DeSales win was. Uh, we were pretty dominated and, and won. So it's been kind of an upside down, backwards, um, funky season. And I think the team's done a really, really good job um, staying locked in and staying focused and knowing that um, we're capable of a lot more than our record indicates. Yeah, while she may not also have the record either, Keegan Caffrey in net has has done pretty well for you. She's just a sophomore, played in one game a couple minutes last season. Talk about her play between the posts for you so far. Yeah, Keegan um, has grown so much in the last year and um, was just a great overall team player for us last year and uh, did so much work in the off season, put on a ton of muscle and, and a ton of confidence, I think, with that muscle and had a really good spring season for us clearly did a lot of work this summer and, and came in and just said, this is my spot. And uh, she has been, she's been outstanding. And, and I think, um, again, for her to, to only be a sophomore, you know, I, I think kind of the sky's the limit in terms of what she's capable of. She's got great size and, um, you know, she's strong uh, in the air. She's made some outstanding saves for us. And um, so I think as long as we keep her confidence up and, you know, she's got a great work rate and she's just a great team player and, um, you know, a great person to be around. So, um, we couldn't be happier with where she is and, and what, you know, the next two and a half years hold for her. Yeah. Shifting into the field, you have seven goals this season, seven different goal scorers, probably not what you drew up heading into the season. So is there someone that you see in the second half, maybe emerging as a top goal scorer? Or are you happy with? The, the spreading it throughout the team? Well, spreading it throughout the team has certainly not been intentional, but um, sure, we'd love to have somebody kind of rise to the top and, and be that person. Um, we have had a tremendous amount of injuries this season. Um, we've had an ACL tear. We've had compartment syndrome. We've had stress fractures, broken hands, broken feet, dislocated shoulders, concussions. Um, so we've had... Um, Marissa and Gleesa, who scored you know a bunch of goals for us last year, has missed um, last couple of games. Um, Shannon McNulty is out for the season, so we've taken some hits on the offensive side of things. But I think um, goal scoring is one of those things where um, sometimes the harder you push, the harder it, it is to to finish. So I'm trying to strike that balance of um, allowing our forwards who've been working really really hard allowing them the opportunity to kind of rise to the top without, you know, really putting too much pressure on it. And um, I think, you know, 
hopefully we're poised to have some people, um, you know, find their, hit their stride in conference. And hopefully we're getting Marissa back um, right in time for conference. And certainly that will help. But um, really any of them. I mean, uh, Elena Raisner has been playing really well for us as a, as a target. Um, and um, we certainly have had a bunch of people kind of pop up and score goals here and there. And, and hopefully that continues, but hopefully we get some people scoring multiple goals as well. Yeah, and before we flip the page to conference, or as we flip the page to conference and ending non-conference play, what do you want to see your team kind of improve on or emphasize on as you head into the second half of the season? Yeah, I think, um, again, it's been interesting. We've, we've walked off the field many times this season really um, happy with, you know, leaving it all in the field and really feeling like we've battled in every single game. And um, ironically, I think the worst we've all felt this season was our win against DeSales, which I think really says a lot about the team as well. Um, certainly that's something we wanted to get that monkey off our back and finally get that win. And it was not satisfying. And, and I appreciate, I think that the team, um, you know, we all want the performance and the result. And I think given our you know, given our schedule, that's what we're going to need. So going forward, you know, we need to continue to, to battle and, and to fight and to leave everything on the field and, and play the way that we want to play and, um, you know, continue to, to push and, and get those results. But I think the general consensus really throughout the team is that, you know, we've, we've been through a lot and we've hung tight and, you know, we're playing too hard and fighting too much for it not to ultimately pay off. Um, and I think that, I think there's a, you know, a bit of a feeling that, you know, we're about to hit our stride and, and hopefully it's, it's in conference. Yeah, you mentioned conference starts on Saturday. Kind of like the non-conference schedule, it's not easy to start. You play Arcadia at home on Saturday, they're ranked 23rd, turn around three days later, host number four, Messiah. What's the goal in conference play outside of the obvious of winning it? Yeah, I think certainly, you know, the focus is one game at a time. We talk a lot about one minute at a time, just kind of w win the minute. Um, I'm really looking forward to the Arcadia Messiah games. I think, you know, we've stepped up against some good teams. So, um, you know, it, this isn't kind of the first game, the first tough competition we're coming up against at all. Um, I, I have a tremendous amount of confidence that, that will show up and, Certainly those, those are the two best teams in conference, you know, historically. Um, I think to get a result um, in either of those, you know, would be fantastic. And, um, but it's, again, it's soccer. So any given day, you know, they're off, we're on. Um, you know, ball bounces a funky way. I think as long as you're competing, um, you, you know, stuff can happen. So we're looking forward to those games um, and I think you know, the way things fall out, really the bulk of our conference schedule is really towards the, the back end of it with teams that <clears throat> we are, you know, going to be fighting for those, those conference spots. And, you know, I think the first step is to, to take games um, one by one and, you know, focus on that one and, and try and pick that team off and, and then focus on the next and certainly then to finish in the top five and, and as high up as we can and then certainly to, to go into playoffs and go from there. Well, Coach, plenty of soccer left still this season, so we wish you the best of luck the second half of the season, and hopefully we're sitting right back here previewing the Matt Commonwealth playoffs. Yeah, thank you. For head coach Toddy Corba, I'm Sam Murray, and this has been the Toddy Corba Show.